this video is for the ladies out there. I'm sure you all are wondering how can I have a plastic free period because tampons and pads and panty liners all come in a plastic wrapper. Generally speaking, I'm sure there's some brands out there that are cotton tampons in a cardboard box. However, generally speaking, they're all gonna include plastic. So what can we do about that? There are the options of having reusable pads, but that just kind of grosses me out. It's just a big piece of cloth in your underwear. Um, so I'm going to be reviewing period panties. I'm sure you've all heard of the brand Thinks. And that was the original brand I've heard of a long time ago. But when I did some research, I found out there were other brands and I ended up going with Mahdi Body from Australia and I got a couple different colors of their seamless um, bikini panties. Now, these come in several different styles and there's several different companies. The reason I chose Mahdi Body because they were the only ones I found that carried a seamless line. And I am really excited to share this review with you guys today because I've been putting off trying these panties for a long time because I was like, okay, that sounds good in theory, but come on, we know it's, it's a panty. It's gonna leak or it's gonna be disgusting when you have to rinse it out in the sink because directions are rinse in cold water after use. Do not soak, just run the water until it's clear. Then cold wash on delicate cycle hang dry, reuse, repeat. So, one of the things that had been putting me off towards buying these in the past was my idea of how disgusting it was gonna have to, it was gonna be to have to rinse out my own panties when I'm on my period. I'm actually pleasantly surprised, so much to the point that I'm gonna share with you <laughs> rinsing out my panties and show you how not disgusting it actually is. This is not normally something I would want to share on camera, but I was just so excited about how not nasty it was to rinse out my underwear before putting it through the washing machine. I thought it was going to be a, like a bloody mess and I was like, uh, I don't want to deal with that, but it's surprisingly like, you rinse it till it comes clean and like, Every time I've rinsed mine, at most I get a barely tinted pink water. And I bleed normally. But if you see, like, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, the water is pretty much clear the whole time. It's mostly, if anything, has barely tinted it pink. So it's not a bloody mess, it's just like rinsing out a piece of cloth and that's pretty much it. You throw them in the washer after that and hang them to dry and they're good to go again. I am so happy with this product. It comes with a little like a thicker um, point in the middle to hold the blood and it's black so like when you're opening up your underwear to go to the bathroom if you ever wear pads you don't have to stare at that disgusting mess anymore you can't see it because it's black something I personally didn't like about the panties was whenever I went to the bathroom and I'd pull the panties back up they feel a little wet it's like just on the edges that's touching your leg it didn't feel wet here it just felt like as you're grazing it across your leg pulling your panties back up it felt cold and I don't know if it's just the specific material that's used that gets cold easily or if it's because it was wet and I could feel the wetness but like once putting them on again and having that body heat they didn't feel wet like it didn't feel like I was walking around in a soggy mess but I did want to point that out because it does feel a little bit strange when you're pulling them back up every time now depending on which underwear you get, you can get super light absorbency, light to moderate, moderate to heavy, and heavy slash overnight. And some styles of underwear only carry certain absorbency levels, but I have a pretty regular period. It's 
normal and I would say I bleed a normal amount like mm, at most I would use two regular absorbency pads a day obviously you can change more often for hygienic purposes but for blood purposes like how much it holds at most I would only need to use two of those a day so with people that have a heavier flow that are constantly changing like super absorbency tampons or something this might be more of a panty liner for you but if you have a regular period like these things I'm in love like I'm never gonna buy a tampon or a pad again ever um, they are comfortable the seamless ones really are seamless and they hold or they seem to hold what they say they will um, obviously I've only gotten to use them once now so I don't know you know how long they're gonna take to you know break down before I need to buy another pair um, and I don't know you know I every period is different so I think that they're gonna hold up but based on this period everything went great I had no leaks like when I went to bed I was so nervous because I was like there's no way these are gonna hold didn't have any stains any spills any messes like and I didn't have to wear a pad or tampon it was probably one of my best periods I've ever had it was so comfortable I did have one incident where it felt like they were leaking and I was sitting down in a weird position and I don't think the panties were positioned properly and it was just like a little bit past the line where where that holds the blood it was just like a little bit of blood right there but it was minimal and again I'm thinking that panties weren't positioned properly because I slept in these things I wore them all day and I did not have any leaks or accidents or anything so overall I am very satisfied with these one thing I did notice after wearing them a couple of times and putting through the wash is this part of the panty gets a little pilled I think you can see it and that's just after one period there's some pilling on the back here as well so that's a little disappointing I did follow the correct washing instructions obviously this down here is just from my legs rubbing together and rubbing up against the fabric but it's still functional it's just that makes me question how long they're gonna last in which case is it more cost-effective or not I might need to do a video in a year or so to see how these held up after 12 periods um, as of right now, I still find them functional and useful. I don't have any other brands to compare them to, so I can't tell you if one brand is better than the other, but Maudie Body from Australia has definitely got my money. I'm going to have one for every day of my period, and I'm never looking back. I'm going to save so much money. These only cost me about $22 a piece, which is pretty exciting, so... It's gonna be like around a hundred dollars total and that's it forever it's up to you to decide whether this is really plastic free or not I didn't really talk about how clothes are full of plastic on this challenge obviously we need to wear clothes it's not always the best option to use cotton so I kind of left clothes out of the equation, but literally speaking, clothes are made of plastic. These panties are plastic. They're microfiber, nylon, polyester. Um, so yeah, obviously that is a form of plastic. So the question is, does this create more plastic waste than pads or tampons with their wrappers. I personally think this is probably a much better option because yes, eventually this is going to wear out and I'll probably have to throw them away, but I mean this is the size of probably seven 
plastic wrappers that you would find around a pad. So I would say this is definitely less plastic. It's not exactly plastic free because the material is made of plastic. But if we're not including clothes, then yes, essentially this option is plastic free. Single use plastic free for sure. And I would say definitely a better option. I'm happy. In conclusion, the final pros and cons of these Modi Body period panties, I would say pros are no more pads or tampons, at least for me. Uh, obviously this depends on your flow. If you're heavier, you might still need to wear a tampon in addition to the panties or change the panties out several times a day, which could get expensive. Um, they are plastic free or at least reduced plastic waste. They even come in a cardboard box instead of plastic Some cons are they feel weird and cold like I mentioned earlier when you're putting them back on There's like a brief moment where it feels like you're rubbing something wet against your legs, but I look down. There's never anything there They may not last as long as I originally expected them to and maybe they will leak i don't know they didn't for me but potentially they could there are some other options for companies that you purchase your period panties from i looked at menstrualcup.net to find out the top rated ones and the reason i went with Modi body was number one they were rated number one and number two they were the only one with seamless panties as i explained earlier uh, there's some other companies that you can get and Thinks was actually mm, number five. So that was interesting because that's the one I see most heavily advertised. Like I said, they have several different style options as well as absorbency options. But what's most exciting to me is that there's also swim options. So like swimwear and they also have active wear so yoga pants i'm definitely going to be getting some of this stuff in the future basically you can just go on google and there's a lot of options i will include some links in the video below where they have really descriptive information about your different plastic free period options there's probably five or six things you can do organic materials or reusable pads or sea sponges yeah you can make the best choice for you if you've been enjoying my videos please share with all of your friends and tell them to subscribe too see you later this is super awkward. Pads and panty lanterns. Panty lanterns.